Auckland War Memorial Museum's new director has apologised for the decision to bathe the building in blue and white light in solidarity with Israel. Supporters of the Palestinian cause blocked out the lights, matching the colours of the Israeli flag, as protests led to scuffles with supporters of Israel. Adam Hollingworth reports. A week after Hamas militants attacked Israeli civilians, killing 1,400 of them while taking others hostage, Auckland War Memorial Museum bosses decided to light their building in blue and white. On social media, they said it was in solidarity with Israel. That was toned down in a subsequent post, saying the blue and white lights were in condemnation and as an expression of hope for peace. In the weeks since the attacks, Israel has killed more than 2,300 people in Gaza as the Israel Defence Forces move to punish Hamas militants and Israel cuts off water, food supplies, electricity and fuel to more than 2 million people. At the museum last night, a handful of supporters of Israel held a vigil, while pro-Palestinian demonstrators blacked out the lights by covering them in jackets and scarves and demanded the museum apologise. Right here they hold Anzac commemorations where we hear the words never again and yet as, an, as, a, as a genocide is unfolding, they are actively supporting the state that is carrying out that atrocity. The museum houses a memorial to the Holocaust that says never again, and if they are to apologise for standing with the slaughter of Jews at the hand of terrorists, then they have either been intimidated or they're not standing by what they preach. The museum's new chief executive, David Reeves, apologised this afternoon, saying in a statement, we wanted this to be an expression for hope and peace. Our approach was wrong, and I personally apologise for the distress and hurt caused to members of our community. It doesn't appear as though anything was damaged at the museum during the protest, but there were scuffles between the opposing sides. Opposing sides who both claim they were provoked. Some people were here to support Israel despite what's going on and so those that were here to support Palestine were deeply offended by their presence. I've heard reports of anti-Semitic abuse being yelled at a small number of people who were holding Israeli flags and I saw assault on them the stealing of flags and the hitting of their cars. Police say they were on site to monitor the protest and maintain the peace. No arrests were made. Adam Hollingworth, News Hub.